So I guess you can consider this a uh, unfinished project. Um, I wanted to put all this together nicely for Bella. Um, I had this Iron Man heart. I had already built it, but the glue came off. The glue came off here at the edges. So I need to put it together. And then this thing was falling apart. So I guess that's an unfinished project. I mean, if you look at here. The Iron Man hearts right here. I just need to put it together with um, like Gorilla Glue or something and then display it. This, I gotta display it for Bella. I gotta find a display area. And then one of our first projects that I made, it's a, it, it's a mirror. Oh, here it is. So I made a, a magic mirror for Bella. And it was just the prototype. So I got all the things here for the magic mirror, all the sensors and stuff. I need to find a frame. I need to find a frame so I can put it together. So that's an unfinished project. This is another unfinished project. I got magnets in here and I wanted to do some kind of floating device, um, like levitating and stuff. Oh, there goes my mechanical engineer. So I wanted to put some magnets here and have like a levitating um, system with magnets and just, it's just gonna be magnets, but I wanna have a spinning top, uh, flo like floating levitating and then this one too. That's an unfinished project. I had these wings that I that I wanted to do for. I found them in Wish.com, and I wanted to do like a uh, the Falcon. I wanted to paint them and have them like the Falcon. And I got these cool glasses that I got. The, I don't know if they have battery. Nope. I took the battery out, but they turn on. I'm gonna show you guys if I ever finish. Um, I I will finish at one point. I mean. This is for Falcon. They have nice little LED lights on the side. And I was gonna paint the wings and then we already got the um, the shield. We already have the shield. So unfinished projects. Uh, <laughs> we got all these um, kits, uh, uh, chemistry kits. So, I mean, those are, that's not an unfinished project. It's the stuff that I do with the kits and stuff. Yeah. So I guess this is an unfinished project as well. Um, I got a lifesaver that I, don't, I haven't even opened. It's an Ironman lifesaver. Um, let's see. I got a Snorlax, a brand new Snorlax that we haven't even filled it up. Look how cool that is. So I need to fill that up. It's brand new. I need to buy the stuffing. Um, let me see. I need a final place to put all these, all these things. Oh, here it is. The Falcon. So, the Falcon, the wings, the, the, um, the wings, the shield, and the actual glasses. <clears throat> For some reason, I always wanted to do like a short video of Pikachu on our skateboard, like Back to the Future. So it would have the hat on. It keeps falling. Have the hat on and have the skateboard, and have our electric skateboard, and he can be like Marty or Doc from Back to the Future. <laughs> So literally the whole, the whole garage is a pending project or unfinished project. <laughs> I did that for one of the videos. Um, hopefully someone finds it useful. Um, we save boxes just in case for projects that we're gonna be working on. Um, see, let's see. I need to put this up. I need to put this up so I can put, um, I guess I'm gonna put it across. I'm gonna put it across this way so I can put all these, all the tools that I use. This is extra material that I have. I want to build something, I don't know. Now this piece of wood is for my capstone project. I've been having it since 2018 for a while now. It, it was part of the trash compactor that we built. And let's see what I have over here. Um, so I still have the trash compactor, like the scissor lift mechanism and like the um, user interface. I was gonna do something with this, like a chair or something that goes up and down. I never got to finish that, so. That's the trash compactor. 
from my senior capstone for mechanical engineering. <clears throat> so shout out to <laughs> Compact Cube. <laughs> I have a mess, I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I'm gonna build a lemonade stand, so that's the wood I'm gonna use. And then I'll use this wood from our trash compactor, extra wood that we had to um, build a lemonade stand for Bella. She's been telling me, I mean, we moved here two years ago, three, almost three years ago, and I haven't even used this. So <laughs> that in itself, it's an, a project that I haven't even used. So yeah, I have a mess. This is the table where I record, where I record all this stuff. Um, let's see. So one of the biggest projects that I haven't done, it's um, something for Bella that I was creating. I was creating the Mulan, Mulan sword for her birthday, but I was sanding this down. It was just taking forever. Um, it was taking forever and then it got too hot outside to work in the garage, so I haven't finished. But I will get together and finish it one day. So, like I said, it's the Mulan sword. Mulan sword, I, w I wanted to do it for her birthday in February and we're in June and never finished. So yeah, it's a, it's a cool project. It's the sword from Mulan. You put the two pieces together. Oops. Put the pieces together and you're supposed to fit them inside. And it was just, it wasn't fitting correctly. It was too much sanding and it got too hot to work in the garage. So Mulan sword is coming at one point. So yeah, stand by for the Mulan sword. I'll finish it one day. <laughs> When I'm done sanding, after two years of sanding, <laughs> I'll finish it. Um, looks like we got some mail from Fletch Collectibles. Something special, I think there's something in there. Pokemon cards, some special stuff. Let me see, I got so much stuff here. Lazy Susan projects that I was building on. Electronics over here. Probably the biggest project that's been waiting, it's in here. There's even spider web right there. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out so you guys can see it. I don't think we even, I don't think we even show you guys this. This is pretty cool. We're gonna make a video of Harry Potter when we made the video of the um, invisible blanket or the invisibility cloak. Um, <clears throat> but we never got to it because it broke. The first one broke. This one broke, there's tape in there somewhere. But they send us another one. They send us another one and I never got around to it, to making the actual video. Um, more electronics. Um, this is the big project that's been pending for a long time, unfinished for like three, four years. <laughs> Let me see. So let's see, I guess I can turn on the light. So we have more light in here. So this is a big project that I was working on for like four or five years. It was gonna be a door hammer. So um, I started working on it when I was still in college. I was my senior year. I started working on it and I've been out for like five years or so. This is gonna be the leather for the door hammer. Hopefully it still sticks, but this is gonna be like the door hammer so I can wrap it around here. This is a, it's a fingerprint uh, scanner, fingerprint scanner. <laughs> That's homemade stuff that I put in there. <laughs> It's in there. It should be programmed already. It should be programmed, but we'll see. We just gotta be sensitive, make sure that doesn't fall away. Um, all the stuff for the projects here. If you ever seen the door hammer, electric door hammer, um, I'll tell you what this is right now. Um, you seen the door hammer video from Alan Pan. Uh, Alan Pan, I believe his name is. He's awesome. He has an awesome YouTube video. He creates a lot of stuff. But. Oh, so you know what? The thing's not gonna be here. The um, I wanted to show you the coil, the microwave. See, the batteries are here. Um, a lot of the sensors and battery stuff that I need is still here. Um, let's see. Well, it looks like this is the power supply for the trash compactor. Power supply for the trash compactor that I was, the scissor lift mechanism. That's the power supply right there. What's in here? Oh, that's the cable for the power supply for the 
for the scissor lift. So this is actually what I wanted to show you. So this is the hammer. Of course, all this is gonna be inside a plastic hammer, the, um, a cosplay hammer. This thing's falling apart. I don't even think it's safe anymore, <laughs> but uh, I hope it is. Um, this is the main thing of the, it's an electromagnetic helmet. So what it is is um, you pass the current, you know, I'm gonna have batteries on there. You pass the current and um, it, it sends a current through the, um, through the coil here and it creates the magnetic field. So look how damaged that is. <laughs> I hope it's still safe. Hope I can still finish this. So I got this out out of a microwave, our old microwave that we had. And then I used the machine shop at, at school to, to drill holes and to do all this stuff. So yeah, I mean, that's the main thing of the hammer. This is connected to the coils. You pass the current through batteries and stuff. And um, it's supposed to create a magnetic field. And this is supposed to be touching the bottom, the magnetic stuff. So Alan Pan, um, Thank you for sharing the project. It's still, it's open source, so you can still get it. Um, I forgot the name of the, the company, the website. There's a website for open source where you can get all this stuff. Um, let me see if I can find it. I'll put it on here. I was trying to find the hammer so I can show you guys um, where all this is gonna be stored. It's a plastic replica, replica of the hammer, Thor hammer. So this is one of my favorite um, projects. I just never got around to it. I'm still working on it, slowly but surely. One day I'll have it all put together and working. Hopefully, if I'm worthy enough, <laughs> um, hopefully I can put it together and it works. This is one of my favorite classes. It was a entrepreneurship class at uh, ASU. And we created a device that would locate your keys. This is called Marco Polo. And it's like a path and X marks the spot. So I had a whole bunch of electronic and it's supposed, it's like um, like tile, it's supposed to find all your stuff, look at your stuff with the, um, with the key, ch like key chains, backpacks, and, and any, anywhere you would put like the tile stuff. It's kind of what we created became, before it became really popular tile, as in the prototype states, uh, states when we were, uh, stage when we were like creating this and playing with it. So yeah, I mean, the whole garage is a, unfinished project but i'm gonna try to get rid of those two things and then i'm gonna try to put more of those i'm gonna put them across over here so i can get rid of all this junk right here some of them are paints like the whole two racks are stuff from the house like paints and stuff so yeah i mean it's a mess i got a lemonade stand that i want to do i got a scissor lift mechanism over here and i'm trying to create something with it i still don't know lemonade stand and then i gotta put the stuff up over here over there just just a mess i wanted to share some of the projects that i started and never finished i mean some of these got potential <laughs> to be really cool um, so yeah mulan sore that's gonna be awesome these are the magnets for the floating uh spinner top that i wanted to create so i wanted to have magnets somewhere arranged and then the, the spinning top was gonna be something like this and it was supposed to flip. It was supposed to like stay spinning if it's center, if the center of gravity of the, of the pool, if, if it's center, it's supposed to stay spinning and it's like levitating. I got all these magnets for the spinning top. So yeah. I even have a 3D printer that I haven't even opened. I'm probably gonna sell this one. <laughs> I have all the filament here. I don't have a place and it's too hot in the garage to put it here. I haven't even used this. I haven't used it in two years. That's what I'm gonna use to cut the, um, the lemonade stand. Almost forgot I got rockets over there too that I'm trying to build with the kids. There's like three sets of rockets. Um, so that's another project we wanna do a video on rockets and stuff. See if we can make it land on the moon. <laughs> so yeah.